clear to play. Mini War Gaming's War Machine League Battle Reports. Hey there, Mini War Gamers. Owen here from Mini War Gaming with Eric and Josh to play another game in our War Machine League. Today we have 35 points of Kador, the Old Witch, going up against 35 points of Retribution and Ron. So stay tuned for the armies. They're doing outflank, and we'll see who wins. And so for the Retribution, we have Ron right up front, the best retcaster in my opinion. Wishnalar supporting Ron. We've got a Phoenix, and then we've got a Manticore, Main Hunter Assassin, full unit or min unit of infiltrators, and then a full unit of Sentinels with the UA, and then some battle mages because you need them if you're going to play Ron. Well, you're supposed to need them. Anyway, Kador on the other hand, we've got a full unit of Chaosi with the underboss UA. Then we've got Gorman and Behemoth. Then we've got a War Dog who's hanging out with Scrapjack and the Old Witch. Right there, Scrapjack. We've then got Orin Midwinter, the Marksman, and then the other uh, Widowmakers, and then a unit of Grey Lord Turnians. And that is 35 points of Kador. So here's the objectives. They're playing outflank, so there are two large zones. They can capture them for one, dominate them for two. And as it stands, I do believe that the Kador have first turn. He won the roll off and decided that he wanted to go first. Mage Hunter there is uh, advanced deployment, so he's a little bit further up than everyone else is. And basically that's that. The same with the Widowmakers and the... Uh, Marksman. So here we go. We're going into Kador turn one, and we'll see who wins this round. So first thing, he allocates a little bit of focus around, and then takes off with his Widowmakers, running into the woods there, getting into a position that he can start fighting in the following turns. So there they go. The next Marksman runs up into the woods here, and he, of course, has Pathfinder, or she, or whoever that is. Little sniper. They're good snipers. Behemoth runs forward, because that's all that Behemoth really can do. Because this turn he's not doing much. He decides he's going to take a lob shot at somebody over there. We're going to go for the Mage Hunter. So the red dot is where it's coming from. It deviates from there, of course. And goes to the 6, which is a miss. And to the 6, which is a miss. Bump. There we go. So here we go. We've got the Scrapjack running forward up to a little bit. And then the Assassin, or not the Assassins. You don't know. That's what they are. They're Chaosi. Kayazi run all over the place and just move up onto the zone or moving up towards the zone with the support from the snipers in the woods. Old Witch uses Wield Secrets onto the or through Scrapjack onto the Kayazi and then advances up, moving up into a little bit of cover behind that wall there, just because defense tends to be the big problem that Kator has. And then does murder of crows or flock of crows right there and they basically have a cover there moves up with the war dog or gorman right beside her and drops a cloud on them both so now they're concealed and in cover and have a war dog that's right there so the gray lords move forward all of them just kind of advancing up because they can also drop clouds on friendly models which gives them even more defense or those who are not benefiting from cover or concealment at the time so one for behemoth one for scrapjack and another one for himself War Dog moves up, and then Orin Midwinter moves up as well. And he moves it right up into there, and then makes it so that you can't cast spells. Here we've got the Manticore, does this little shift at the beginning of the control phase, and moves two inches. The Phoenix walks forward, taking a pot shot at one of the uh, Chaosi, so that's where it's landing, and then it deviates from there to the two, which is of course a miss. The Mage Hunter Assassin just runs off into the far edge of the board, taking cover over there. Ron advances up just a little bit, or rather the, uh, the Battle Mages Ron advance around Ron. After a little bit of a debate, he decided that he did not like that way. And then goes with the Manticore first, and runs up with his Infiltrators, all of them trying to get in position. Now their Infiltrators are neat, but I don't think they're still as good as the, uh, the Mage Hunter Assassins. I have yet to see them really kind of shine in the same sense as the Mage Hunter Assassins do. It's entirely possible that they are, because not a lot of red players I've played against use them, and so, who knows. But Sentinels here, they're pretty reliable, reach weapon masters, and they're rather high mat. They're basically basically a Menoth unit. They're they're good enough that they count as that. And he puts Polarity Shield on them to prevent charges in the front, uh, front arc, and then of course he does Chain Lightning going through the Phoenix, which deviates and then deviates from that point, and it goes... 
6 to the 6, which lands it right into the middle of these little fellas here. And first guy here, dice minus 6, he does kill him. Splat. Dead. And then the next guy, dice minus 5, and he's dead as well. And then that's that. So we got two of them, which is surprisingly well, but it was entirely possible he could have gotten a lot more. Kador turn begins, Old Witch hands out a little bit of focus, and then we've got the Widowmakers starting to come out of the woods there, just to guarantee that he's going to be in range when he starts popping shots. So, here we go, first guy, he of course hits, and then Sniper, so he does one damage automatically and kills him. Taking a shot at the guy on the hill, or on the ground there, hits and kills. Shot at the guy on the hill, hits and kills. And out of range. Oh no, he was just barely in range, and he hits him and kills him. And that's that. Next one, the, uh, the, the Widowmaker Solo walks over, hits and kills, and basically they're just eating through this really high armored unit. He then moves up or in midwinter, not thinking about this, and does his null zone so he can't, no one can cast spells now within 12 inches of him, including himself. So now Old Witch can't cast spells without moving away, but he hasn't noticed that yet, but he will in a moment. A few of the uh, Chaosi all run over getting into the woods there, just trying to reposition because there's not very many sentinels left so he's got a lot less to deal with on the uh the one flank there but there's still a bunch of infiltrators and battle mages on this side so he's gonna have to deal with all of them and so the chaosi just kind of spread out moving up with his underboss and then the last chaosi moves over onto the zone there and then the Grey Lords activate once again. So they start shifting around, getting into position so they can drop more clouds just to give that bonus defense to whatever Kador units they can. Because, as I said earlier, Kador's biggest problem is that they don't get out of the way. And so here we go, he's dropping a few, and that's that. He then moves up Gorman, and at this point he's realized that uh, he might have messed up a little bit. He ends up having the Old Witch move backwards, pulling her out of uh, Orin's zone. He then casts Iron Flesh on the Old Witch, which gives her bonus defense, and then uses the ability of Scrapjack to teleport base to base with Scrapjack, and a little bit into the cloud there just for the extra bonus defense, and then uses her feet. So if anyone advances... Well, okay, first off, you can't use... Um, orders within her control and then if you advance you take I believe it's a POW 14 and of course you can't run or charge and now he's taking a shot with the behemoth it misses deviates a little bit and goes to the six straight backwards onto his own Kayazi and kills him so that was a nice shot here we go retribution turn begins Phoenix gets one focus and then advances forward Taking, his, uh, taking the POW 14 hit and doing a bunch of damage to his shield, or at least a surprising amount. He boosts to hit, taking a shot at Orin Midwinter, needing an 11, and he of course misses. Then it deviates, five to this, or six to the five, hitting another little fella and killing him outright. Here we've got the Manticore advancing forward, taking the POW, oh maybe it's POW 16. No, it's POW 14, that's right, he's only armored, he's armored low anyway. Ron arcs through there, trying to hit uh, the underboss with his, oh, what's it called, chain blasts, chain blasts, and it's basically just killing these guys, so the underboss is dead, there we go, we can get a point of view of this, or he lives with one, that's it, and then it, the second blast goes off, which, he doesn't get to choose which direction it goes, unfortunately, but he does start killing people here. Cast it again, kills another guy, then it deviates one to the six, which... Boop, hits him the second time, and just obliterates him. The Sentinels, they get to just do a full advance backwards, because he's realized that against Widowmakers, they're just going to get mowed down, so he decides that he's actually going to run away in proper cowardly Rhett fashion. That and the fact that if they move forward this turn, they'd all get killed. But Rhett scores one point, because they did clear the zone. Here we go, moving into the Kador turn, and... It's getting kind of close now. Everybody, or one side has popped their feet, so Cater's already used it. He's allocating a bit of focus around and upkeeping uh, Iron Flesh and his other spells here. He moves up with the Grey Lords, trying to find a good point of a good point where he can stand here. That Phoenix is really going to be starting to be a threat because he doesn't have anything over there that can really deal with it. Like I mean, he can pot shot it with uh, snipers and maybe get it with the Chaosi, but unless he rolls really good, then he's not going to do anything. He starts casting uh, Icy Grip with his Grey Lords, trying to grab and damage the uh, the Jacks here. And he does do quite a bit, knocking out a lot of health off of the Manticore, 
but uh, that's all he could really do there. And does two damage, wow. And that's that, so he boosted damage with the uh, jack and was not able to do much. Anyway, the uh, ma Widowmakers move out of the forest here, getting in a position that they can start shooting away at the jack. This guy moves back a little bit, and so first shot, they only need like twos to hit now because of Icy Grip, it's lowered his defense so much, so hit, hit, and hit, and hit. So, he uses the sniper ability and that's that. Here we've got another shot, dice minus six, and doesn't do any damage with the uh, UA. Or not the UA, but the solo. The assassins, or the Chaosi anyway, they charge the uh, Phoenix, trying to get into close combat here. Now, the real bad thing that could go here is that the Phoenix has an ability that he basically just kills everything within two inches of it if they have light armor. It's power of 13, I believe. And if he doesn't lose his cortex, or doesn't lose his shields rather, then he can use it. So he's really got to break his shields, dice minus six, and he's doing a lot of damage. Each of these guys, of course, they have gang, and he gets a nice big hit, which cripples most of the phoenix, and another one, which cripples his shield generator, which is exactly what he needed, so he cannot use combustion. Oren moves up, and he once again messes up, realizing that he does not want to prevent himself from preventing, or does not want to prevent himself from casting spells, he decides that Oren's just going to not do that ability. Gorman moves and uses his cloud. The Scrapjack runs around, moving over towards the zone, because he needs something else in there to just contest. The Old Witch moves a little bit backwards, hanging out next to Gorman, sitting underneath the uh, AoE there, and then drops another cloud on top of Scrapjack. There we go. Retribution's turn begins, and first thing he does is charge in with his Sentinels to try and save the Phoenix, who has a focus on him. Unfortunately, I don't think I got that on uh, camera there, but he does have one focus on him, because that's what he could give him, because his cortex isn't gone. He's just kind of, his arms are gone, and his uh, shields are gone, or his generator is gone. And those two just kind of run forward. These last guys, they charge in once again. Now, the downside for them is that these Chaosi have, like, crazy high defenses. So, taking a swing here, he needs a 9 to hit with his Mat 7 unit. He then takes another swing, which misses, and then the next guy, which actually hits. So, Splat kills one of the Chaosi, and that's good on him. Now he decides that he's going to trample with his Phoenix, going over the two Chaosi, and ending up right there. So he does get to cr try and crush. He hits the first guy, which was phenomenal, and misses the second one. But he does get hit by a free strike, which is dice minus six, and unfortunately does no damage. The Battle Mages kind of shimmy around here. Does his feat with Ron. Or he, that was Wishnalar. There we go. Wishnalar moved and then did an Arcane Secret, so he gets an additional die on hitting to damage and takes away the lowest. So now he's hitting Old Witch with Force Hammer, which slams her back five inches. He's arcing it through the uh, Phoenix, of course. And then Dice Minus Two, take away the lowest, and it's just a colossal hit. It's like 13 points of her health. And there we go. Then he does Chain Blast through there onto Old Witch, hits her, and Dice Minus Two. Arrows on my side. <laughs> Everybody messed up. Everyone messed up. But I don't know. I don't think I've ever played the old witch poor. Or <laughs> All right. We'll have a quick talk about that in the post game. So right now, many war gamers, it is a victory for the retribution, thanks to Ron, because whenever Ron comes out, it's always Ron. And stay tuned for the post game as we talk about what could have gone differently, because there are a lot of different options that everyone just kind of failed at doing. Oh, big time. <laughs> Owen sounds upset. Happy war gaming.